Good morning, everybody. Could I please ask that all of your mobile phones are switched off during this assembly? Thank you. I would now like to introduce your MC, Ishu Rawat. Good morning, teachers and graduating class of 2020. Could we all be upstanding for the entry of the official party? Please be seated. Please enjoy a short music clip created by the students. Welcome to the Year 12 Graduation Assembly. Today we have gathered here in the oldest building of our school, the School Hall, 
which has over 77 years of history, to farewell 147 gentlemen who can now call themselves the graduating class of 2020. Today marks the end of 13 years of schooling for these fine gentlemen. Countless lessons, many staff relations developed and fostered. Countless bells, lunchtime playing games of touch footy, soccer, handball, or even just hanging around to catch up with the boys. My name is Ishi Rawat, and I have been elected by my peers as the 2021 school captain of Homebush Boys High School. It is an honor to be your chairperson for today's graduation assembly. On behalf of our school, princi school principal, Mr. Kevin Elgood, our deputy principal in charge of E12, Mrs. Anna Palliothodorus, our deputy principals, Ms. Catherine Player and Mr. Sharif Ahmed, I'd like to open today's proceeding with the acknowledgement of country. On behalf of all of you gathered here today, I'd like to acknowledge the first peoples, the traditional custodians of the country where Homebush Boys is located. We respectfully acknowledge the Wongal. I'd also like to respectfully acknowledge our elders, both past and present, and remember that they have passed their knowledge to us in various ways. Let us hold this in trust as we work and serve our community. Today, we have the pleasure of the company of the following distinguished guest, Miss Melinda Wong, Deputy Principal of Strathfield Girls High School. Also joining us on stage today are Mr. Chris Burke, E12 Advisor, and Mr. David Johnston, E12 Assistant Year Advisor. Our first speaker is our school principal, Mr. Kevin Elgood, who will now give the opening address. Thank you, Issue. What a great day. What a great day it is today. And as I said yesterday on assembly, a very big day in the lives of all of Year 12 2020. These are days that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Big days, more important than your first lesson on trigonometry, unfortunately. As a maths teacher, I think that's pretty important, but days like this are the days that really stick with you. And I say welcome, Year 12 2020, to your final assembly. Welcome to the teachers here. It's been a pretty big year with um, COVID this year. A lot of people talk about the effects, and it has affected us in big ways, but it's even affecting it, this assembly in, in, in the way that we're conducting this assembly, and we're attempting a live stream of this assembly, so um, can I say also welcome um, to parents and friends that may be viewing us online at this time. I certainly hope that the volume for the first performance was better online than it was uh, here in the hall. But obviously some technical glitches there. But welcome to everybody uh, for this assembly. We were disrupted for two weeks at the end of Term 1 and two weeks at the beginning of Term 2. But can I say I have been really proud and impressed with the way that you, boys, have all worked so hard since returning to school in Week 3, Term 2, and the staff, but how hard the staff worked during that time. Most of your teachers had never used online media to transmit lessons and in a, in a sudden period of a couple of hours they had to convert to online so it's been a very tough year for everybody although I believe that also being a tough year will open many opportunities for you and I look forward to that in the future it's been a great final week or final sort of two weeks with the end of last term and this term the uh, expertise on the sporting field on the last Friday of term was, was, was pretty good, but I believe the staff teams won all of those events. Um, so, but I wanna always encourage you to keep trying, boys, and, and you'll get there. Extremely impressed with the speeches yesterday, uh, especially uh, of your Year 12 representatives, um, Zane, Tom, and Lachlan. Absolutely amazing speeches, which show um, just, just the depth in this year, because they were talking about you in, in those speeches. Absolutely fantastic, and that's why I'm speaking before them today, to make sure that I get my speech out of the way. You've shown, you've shown this year that you are an absolutely outstanding year. And I have very high hopes for all of you. There'll be many more challenges that you'll face in life. This is just one challenge, COVID, that you're facing with at the moment. But as you, as you go through your different stages, you'll find there are challenges the whole way through. Always remember that you've got the great grounding, you're, you're strong, you're, you're great people. And I think that's the most important people that I can honestly say when I look at Year 12, 2020, that you are good people. And when I think about what my job here at school 
it's to get through the curriculum, it's to get through a lot of content, it's to make sure that you have the opportunity to get through the content, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that when I look at you leaving school, that I'm confident that you've got the ability to take challenges on in life, to cope with those challenges, that you've got a sense of humour, that you can get through diversity, that you have respect for people and you treat each other well, that you've got a grounding for success and hopefully you've got an ongoing desire for continuing education because that's the way we change the world. Not for me, it's for you. The world ahead is for you to go out and change. And I have people in front of me that will leave school, maybe doctors, maybe lawyers, maybe builders, maybe entrepreneurs, maybe in business, maybe politicians. But you don't have to be any of those. As long as you're, when you leave school, you've got the grounding for success and you're happy in what you do, then you are a success. And that's what I hope for all of you. Over the, couple of, over the last well, 13 years of school and six years at Homebush Boys, there's been a lot of people that have supported you here. We have teachers. We don't have all the teachers here in here at the moment, but your teachers have supported you over that time with expertise, time, energy, dedication, and none more than in this time of COVID so that you can be the best you can. And that's why we're here as teachers, to try and help you be the best you can. Your family have supported you over this time. And sometimes we take family for granted. But your family want to see you successful. They want to see you happy. They want to know that you are good people when you go out. And they want people to see you and think of you as good people. And that's really the most important thing. It's the most important thing. Don't take your family for granted because they're always there. Easy to do. They're there in good times. They're there in bad times. Friends can be, but friends can come and go as well when it gets too tough. And you'll go through a lot of tough times. Don't forget your family through all of those times. I hope you keep strong relationships with each other. That's really important. I still meet with people who were in the Year 7 class when I started teaching in this school. I had a Year 7 maths class, 7A maths, in 1985. And I go out to dinner with those, a couple of those students, depending, each year, at least once a year. They're now about 48. So it's been a long time. But they've, they've kept that camaraderie, that friendship and that support, and they do support each other in different ways. Um, I hope that you can manage that as well, because friends are important. To get you here, there's been a lot of people, even for today, and I'd like to thank um, people especially who have, have played a big part in today and in the last couple of years, your year advisors. Mr Burke, Mr Johnston, and I know Mr T's filled in there as well, who ha have supported you wholeheartedly over the last couple of years. Thank you for all of your support. Can I thank the Deputy Principals, Ms Palaiathodorus, we have Ms Shadwick visiting here as well, down the back as well. Make sure you say hello to Ms Shadwick before you go. Mr. Ahmed is leaving us at the end of next week. So if you have had, if you've been in Mr. Ahmed's class, make sure you say thank you and wish him well as well. Because I wish him very well in his future career and success as um, Deputy Principal at Chester Hill High School. Mr. Stinson and all of the staff that are working around the the, the hall here today have put in a lot of time in making, the, making today as successful as we can. So thank you for doing that. As you leave Homebush Boys, you're leaving the school, you're leaving the classes, you're leaving the buildings, but you'll always be a bushy boy. Hopefully you'll always just show our values in, in everything you do. I want you to have courage, to have confidence, to aim high, to take risks, because that's how we learn to take on life and don't let you pass it by. Boys, you're great. Go out and show the world. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Elgood. I'd now like to call upon Mr. Chris Burke to announce the 2020 Academic and Co-Curricular Awards. These awards will be presented by Mr. Kevin Elgood. Could you please hold all the applause till the end? A reminder that all award recipients will be photographed. Good morning, gentlemen. Gentlemen, while we are waiting for our recipients to line up, can I just say that I'm honoured to be the one up here presenting these co-curricular awards, and I want to congratulate all of our recipients today. So, the recipient of our Principal Medal for 2020, a Harshal Dogra, and Alvin Sumadreja. The recipients of Gold Awards for 2020, Nathan Cheng, and Chang Fan. We want to applaud and give thanks for our services to the Drum Corps by Zane Osman. And congratulate uh, Siobhan Bonsal for the Senior Debating Award. For services to the School and Senior Public Speaking Awards, Thomas Nisa. And for the Australian Defence Force Long Tan Leadership and Teamwork Award and services to the SRC, Srinath Didigu. For services to the SRC, Sharia Charania, Billy Lees, Jason Kwan, and Stephen Tang. For Senior Public Speaking Award, Ahmed Almadine. And receiving the Rhonda Roberts Memorial Award for First in Exten uh, in English Extension One, Lachlan Duong. Now Lachlan is also receiving today the Caltex Best All-Rounder Award, as well as being equal first in Year 12 for his results this year. <laughs> equal first in Year 12 as well is Victor Zhang. And, and third in Year 12, Tolga Sakeki. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Burke and Mr. Elgood, and congratulations to all the award recipients. I'd now like to call upon Ms. Anna Paliothodorus to address the graduating class of 2020. Thank you. Today we come together to, to celebrate the end of an important milestone for the graduating class of 2020, which marks the end of your formal schooling at Homebush Boys High School. 2020 will be a period etched in history as being a most ex extraordinary time. We have witnessed devastating bushfires, floods and a worldwide pandemic which has touched our lives forever. This year's graduation ceremony is a very different one. At this present time, we are still affected by COVID-19 restrictions and we at Homebush Boys High School are not immune to the impact of this virus. These restrictions imposed in the interest of safety have forced changes in some of your rites of passage like having your parents join us in this special occasion. This year has tested our resilience and focus. We've been through lockdown, 
virtual remote learning and not being able to meet up with our extended family and friends for birthdays, weddings and other important family occasions. Who would have thought going to the supermarket was so exciting, even though we wore masks and gloves? And how important was it to drive to various supermarkets to find the elusive toilet paper roll? Walking the dog, riding a bike and going to the park were the highlights of our day. We even got to know our neighbours by name. You must also admit that you even miss school, seeing your teachers and your friends. We even missed you too. Lockdown at home with all the family together was as times challenging. Netflix, Uber Eats, online shopping and gaming were very popular during this time, but if only we had shares in these companies. Despite this, we are very proud of the strength, determination and tenacity that Year 12 has shown us getting through this difficult time. We especially thank your caring and loving parents who supported you every day and were by your side not only during this period but throughout your life. We also thank your wonderful teachers who guided and mentored you throughout these years, who not only taught you the love of learning, but also life lessons that you will, will take you throughout your life. Lastly, we thank the wider school community groups uh, that have also supported and guided you this, through this wonderful journey called life. The Homebush Boys spirit has shone through all of you, your smiles, charisma, charm and swagger has touched all of us daily with your very interesting excuses for arriving late to school or morning class, your wonderful Year 12 jackets that make you stand out in the crowd. We admired your handball and dodgeball games outside C Block, your very serious basketball sessions at lunch times, your countless hours of volunteering in the wider community and your peer tutoring workshops in the library have been praised by all teachers. We will even miss the ruckus you sometimes made in the senior lawn. But most importantly, we will miss your wonderful personalities, your honesty and your charm. The Year 12 graduating class of 2020 has achieved excellent results in the creative and performing arts, sports, hospitality, English, mathematics, sciences, technology and humanities. The visual arts body of work displayed this year showcased a high level of unique creativity, diversity, workmanship and flair, and that had once again raised the bar very high this year. Your musical performances have always also been noteworthy, and despite the strict guidelines you had to follow this year, we were, you were fortunate enough today to listen, and we will, to one at the beginning, but also a wonderful piece by Raymond Baum later on in the ceremony. Your major projects in English extension, in history, science and industrial te uh, technology timber were very impressive. An example of such a project is um, with this lectern that I'm currently using right now. It was cre created and donated by Mohammed Zraka of Year 12 and it's a testament to his hard work and, and love for the school. So thank you, Mohammed. We have admired your linguistic talents, your ability to design software projects, organise business plans, prepare sumptuous meals and solve difficult mathematical and engineering equations. Your poetic achievements and analysis of texts have been outstanding, as well as the ability to research and discuss scientific theories, recite important historical uh, facts in both the modern and ancient worlds. Your focus on the health and physical activity of individuals and the importance of parenting and caring role in our society has also been noteworthy. As you stepped in, into the next stage of your life, stay true to who you are. Stay close to your family and friends and never compromise on your self-respect. Continue to be resilient, dream big and take on the challenges the future brings. You are at the final stages of your high school education leading up to the HSC and you must remain positive and focused. We will be with you in this final chapter of your schooling life and will support you through this time. Never forget this wonderful school and how it has shaped you into this fine young gentleman you are today. Thank you for the wonderful memories 
we have acquired during the journey we took together. Thank you for reminding us, your teachers, of the reasons why we chose this wonderful profession and how rewarding it can be. The memory of the Year 12 graduating class of 2020 will always remain with me forever. We are so proud of you. I am so proud of you. All the best and good luck for the HSC and your life beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Paleothodorus. Each year, the graduating class receives individual graduation portfolios. These include a special farewell message from the school principal and the student's trial HSC report. Some may also include other certificates from TAFE, extracurricular activities, or gold awards. The portfolios will be distributed in alphabetical order. Surnames A to K will be announced by Mr. Sharif Ahmed and presented by Mrs. Anna Paleothodorus. Again, I remind you that all students will be photographed after they are presented with their portfolios. Could I please invite E12 students with surnames A to K to come forward to receive their 2020 graduation portfolios. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to announce the graduation portfolios for students with surnames A to K. I'd like to congratulate the Year 12 cohort for completing six years of high school and wish you all the best in your future endeavours. Matthew Abiasaf. Bilal Ahmed Baroud. Can I ask that a pause and comments are left to the end? Thank you. Ahmed Alamadine. Ayman Alamadine. Ibrahim Ali. Yusuf Ali. Carl Arthur. First in Music One, first in Biology. Ali Asghar. Hussein Bashir. Jeffrey Bailey. Karim Bardo. Raymond Bolm. Sai Shivam Bonsal, Daniel Khan, Alex Carolo, Sharia Sharania, Dylan Chow, Chuan Chen Chen. Wai Kin Nathan Cheng, Michael Hanbin Cho, Yong Jun Cho, Louis Choi, Kiran Chung, Shrika Danthuri, Dan Thirty, sorry. First in Software Design and Development. Gautam Deepa Kumar. Carlos Del Rio. Srinath Didigu. Harshil Dogra. Alex Du. Kevin Duong, Lachlan Duong, equal first physics, first in extension English 2, first in English extension 1. Arul Ekamparam, Adam Elhalu, Yahya Fayed, 
Chang Min Fan, Adam Farouk, Ian Fukushima, Joel Gal, San Chok Jising, Ismail Gorelli, first in construction vet. Shiv Shiva Garishanka, Mingzi Gu, Cheng Tao Guo, Jonathan Ha, Ahmed Hamad, Nathan Haizan, Wei Him Huang, Julian Hong, Hao Wei Hu, Justin Hoanto, first in standard mathematics, first in industrial technology, Tai Ho Huang, Harry. Ikemus Healy, Hai Yu Ji, first in Chinese literature, Justin Jung, Sajat Kabir, first in studies of religion, <laughs> Bailey Khan. Min Jun Leo Kang, Eamon Kabutli, equal first in physics, Jawad Koda, Andrew Kim, Eric Kim, Juha Kim. Burkhan Kochayan, Hizrian Kodarusman, first in Standard English, Denise Krishnapalan, and Debashish Kumar, first in Engineering Studies. Congratulations, boys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ahmed and Mrs. Paliathodorus. The 2020 graduation portfolios for Year 12 students with surnames L to Z will now be announced by Ms. Catherine Player and presented by Mrs. Anna Paliathodorus. Apologies to musical performance by Raymond Bowl.
2020 graduation portfolios for Year 12 students with surnames Elder Z will now be pronounced by Miss Catherine Player and presented by Mrs. Anna Paleofedora. Good morning. It's my absolute pleasure to be able to announce the next group of young men and their achievements. I wish you all the best, Year 12, as you go and on to a new part of your life. Jeffrey Lack. Dhruv Lal. Siosi Lee. Billy Lesk. Richard Lee. Sarab Lee Chand. Thank you, gentlemen. Tom Lee. Jian Lin. Wei Chi Lin. Joshua Lozada. Anthony Liu. Harry Liu. Bassam Maliki. Joy Kuang Mei, equal first in legal studies, first in English ESL. Huang Mai. Min Mai. Nurison Manaharan. Joshua Mansfield, first in Standard 2 Mathematics, first in Business Services. Kareel Mapapalangi. Matthew Marsh. Yano Matusowalski. Sorry. Liam McRae. Akib Mohammed Gusadan. Michael Niang. Sanjay Narayana. Stanley Ning. Tom Nisa. Eric Noble, first in geography. James O. Zane Usman, first in modern history. Dylan Oscan. Thank you, gentlemen. Prajit Palakurthy. Jihoon Park. Kevin Pei. Ryan Fan. Jason Kian, first in business studies. Edwin Rizania. Caleb Rinakama, equal first in legal studies. Ali Safwan. Adil Sajid. Anna Saklak, <laughs> Amir Sari, yeah, I, Amir Sari, I said it. Erdkaha Surog, Daria Shah. Ibad Sharait, Aran Sharma, Josh Sidden, first in hospitality, Toga Serkeki, first in visual arts, first in extension to mathematics, 
first in advanced English. Ethan Sojanto. Rishad Somani, first in economics. Eli Suvaroff. Mustafa Sawade. Kong Hu Su. Alvin Sumad Rija. Ben Suway. Stephen Tang. Aaron Tatlelma. Mohammed Tobia. E. Ray Tok. Stephen Tram. William Tran. Charlie Trinningham. Anshul Trivedi, first in extension science. Aways Uke. <laughs> Muhammad Umar, first in ancient history. <laughs> Cooper Vati. Jordan Vlahos, Anthony Vu, Kainan Vuong, Alex Wang, Cooper Wilson, first in community and family studies, first in physical development, health and physical education, Chang Yang, Jeremy Yi, Xiao Yu Yin, Alvin Unadi, Victor Zhang, first in chemistry, first in advanced mathematics, first in extension one mathematics. <laughs> Jin Zhao. Abdurrahman Zod, Chi Peng Zhu, Mohammed Zrika, first in English studies, and Nazim Zrika. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you, Ms. Player and Mrs. Paleothodorus. I now like to call upon Mr. David Johnson to announce the 2020 Sports Award. These awards will be presented by Ms. Fitzsimmons. Could you please hold all the applause to the end? It is my duty to present the Sporting Awards. Uh, the recipient of the Captain's Banner and Best and Fairest in First Grade Water Polo, Anthony Vu. <laughs> recipient of the Captain's Banner in First Grade Volleyball, Jason Chan. 
recipient of the Coach's Trophy for Best and Fairest in First Grade Volleyball goes to Surab Lielchen. <laughs> recipient of the Captain's Banner and the Peter Litchfield Memorial Trophy for Best and Fairest in First Grade Basketball goes to Adam Farouk. The recipient of the Captain's Banner and Best and Fairest in First Grade Baseball, Ian Fukushima. <laughs> and recipient of the Angus and Robertson Trophy uh, for being the uh, champion swimmer in the Opens Division, Lachlan Duong. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnston and Ms. Fitzsimmons, and congratulations to all the Sports Awards recipients. Mr. Burke will now respond as a 2020 year advisor. Good morning, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Today marks the end of your secondary education journey and your time with us. To listen and congratulate you for every achievement you have made, both in and out of these school gates, will take an extraordinary amount of time unavailable due to the current situation. As graduating students of our school community, you have demonstrated amazing capacity for growth, both individually and as a cohort. I do not want to downplay the struggle that this year has been for all of you. I think it's appropriate to consider 2020 one of the most difficult years to be a year 12 student. While your teachers have supported you during periods of learning from home this year, it's through your own efforts and the support of your family and friends that you've managed to achieve. This was a new experience for everyone and you'll be moving out into a new world, fundamentally different from what you were expecting at the beginning of the school year. Your adaptability and capabilities have been put to the test already and will continue to, be to, to, continue to do so. Despite this, I am confident that you will meet the challenge of this new landscape and will rise to the occasion. We have seen you grow from Year 7 students getting to know one another in the brief interim being before being whisked off for three days of activities designed to challenge and push you to acknowledge the need to seek support from each other and away from your usual support network. These skills have been developed further through the gauntlet of activities and assessments that you have undertaken to get here today. As Year 12 students, your desire to support and push each other to new heights of academic excellence will show through in your upcoming examinations. Your desire to help each other has gone beyond your peers and cohorts and the support you have provided to other groups, including staff and the other year group will leave a lasting impact. Since my early adoption as a year advisor for your group, I have felt lifted when you achieved. I am still elated to hear from your teachers that you are striving to achieve your best. And I know that this is not a false confidence. Your teachers are not just making it up to make me feel good. Like me, they know the type of men that you are, and they know that your efforts will pay dividends in the long run. The work that you have done around the school has not gone unnoticed. Members of your group were the first to actively participate in our peer support program that was started at our school just a few years ago. And these efforts ensured a stronger start for some of our Year 7 students. I also believe it was a great opportunity for some of you to experience the other side of the classroom for once. The work done by a number of clubs and initiatives, including the Interactive Club, who have made a difference to our community. We have had initiatives start here that have spread across communities to create a positive message of belonging. Your prefect body has been working behind the scenes throughout the year to provide opportunities for all of you. This is despite the severe limitations that have been forced upon us by the global situation. Your group has started a bunch of new trends at this school. The first peer sport leaders, the first varsity jacket senior wear, the first yearbook designed and made specifically for you. The members of this group have made substantial impacts upon the culture of this school and your influence has spread outside as well to make a more positive community as a whole not just for students, but also for those walking past our school gates. Your sporting achievements have helped buoy the reputation of our school and have set a high bar for others to meet. While you've not had the same experience of the past year group in terms of athletic carnivals, trade sport, or any of the knockouts, we have seen your passion in what you've achieved up to this point across your years with us, demonstrating that it's not simply the desire for the accolades that sent you out in your final year for that specific, uh, certificate or trophy, but a true love of the activity. You have aspiring writers, scientists, engineers, and strangely even teachers. Those of you preparing for these futures have demonstrated amazing, tangible efforts towards these goals. You've had literary works published. You have a national recognition for con uh, contributions to the community. 
who has students visiting international and domestic universities, as well as other opportunities. And I'm sorry that some students may have missed out on similar experiences this year, despite being just as passionate about their own goals. However, it is the drive and dedication to achieve and improve of everyone here that will continue to push you to achieve in what you seek to do in the years to come. In your time with us, you've had a few camping experiences, including the introductory year seven, leadership focused prefect, and my absolutely unbiased personal favorite, the science camp. It is always interesting to see you outside of the school environment when your true personalities are able to be unleashed. The passion with which you address each other unmuted by the formalities of our, senior, uh, our school physical environment. Being privy to conversations of your individual interests where I understand maybe every second or third word, but the earnest attempts made of you guys to involve those around you, whether they be your friends, classmates, or teachers, has shown your outgoing personalities and gives me no doubt that you'll be able to find your niche in the world as you walk outside these gates. Finally, on your behalf, I would like to thank staff members both past and present for their support that they have given you. In particular, uh, Mr. Belgrade, who played a fundamental role in introducing you to our school and worked uh, with many of you throughout your year seven. Yeah. I would also like to thank Ms. Driska in her absence and Ms. Chapman for their tireless efforts to support all of you as a head teacher of wellbeing. The senior executive of the school, in particular Ms. Pally Fedoris, and despite changes to the team, they have always aimed to make your time here a positive one and provide as many opportunities for you as possible. Other staff members, including Ms. Brown, Ms. Crotty, and Mr. T, who have contributed to your experiences as assistants to my role. I also want to acknowledge the contributions made by Ms. Corr, who took the mantle of year advisor in 2017, and Mr. Johnston, who has held both the role of assistant and acting year advisor over your time with us. I'd also like to thank Mr. Stinson, Ms. Anton, Ms. Pally Fedoris, Ms. Fitzsimmons, Mr. Pir uh, Kirbagaran, Ms. Chapman, Mr. Alexander, and any other staff members who have contributed greatly to today's proceedings. My final thanks is to you gentlemen for making it this far, for consistently working your best and for making this school a better place for other students and despite the hell of a year it's been, always facing each new day with a smile and drive to reach new heights. And I hope that you feel I've supported you sufficiently to achieve your, jo your goals. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burke. Zane Osman, Tom Nisa, and Lockling Duong will now respond as a senior prefect body. Good morning. Good morning, teachers, distinguished guests, all the parents and loved ones watching online, and last but not least, I welcome the graduating class of 2020. Firstly, I would like to congratulate each and every one of you for this amazing achievement. We have spent an eventful six years within the walls of this school, learning, growing, and maturing. And today is the day. Today is the day that all your hard work and your effort finally pays off. Yes, we graduate today, but our journey is far from over. In fact, this is just the beginning. But before we turn the page, I would like to take you on a trip down memory lane. I want each of you to visualize the first day walking through those gates. I want you to envision the first person you met and your first memory at the school. And I want you to play it on repeat. I'm aware that we all haven't made the same memories. Each of us has different thoughts flowing through our minds at this very moment. And all of our experiences have been unique. One thing is for certain. I know that each of you gentlemen in front of me today will never, ever forget their time at Homebush Boys High School. No matter how crazy, exhausting, or surprising, we will always remember the good times with our fellow brothers within this second home. I would like to add that it has been the greatest honor to serve as your school captain. It has truly been the most fulfilling of experiences. This school and all the faces in this room will forever hold a special place 
in my heart. Look around you. Look at the connections you have made and realize the huge impact we all have had on each other's lives. For without everyone in this room today, we wouldn't be who we are at this very moment. But this goes beyond us. Firstly, I would like to thank my own family, especially my sister and my brother, because without you, I wouldn't be half the person I am today. And I would like to extend this thanks to all the parents, siblings, and extended family and friends for supporting these wonderful gentlemen in front of me throughout their whole entire school life. Moreover, I would like to formally thank Mrs. Pallio Theodorus for the hard work behind the scenes, ensuring all of us made it to today. I would like to thank Mr. Elgood for supporting Year 12 in all of our endeavors. But most importantly, I would like to thank Mr. Burke and Mr. Johnston for really raising us and helping us every step of the way by inspiring us and pushing us to become the best version of ourselves. Lastly, I would like to leave Year 12 with some final words. I hope this message stays with you beyond your school days. In life, you will make mistakes. Learn from these mistakes. If you stumble, make it a part of your dance. If you fall, pick yourself back up. Pierre de Cupertin said, the most important thing in life is not the triumph, but the struggle. Thank you. I would now like to pass it on to Tom. The 13 years of school that we've gone through, or roughly 11,000 hours, is soon to culminate into our final exams, or the HSC. The boys in front of me have seen challenges like no other cohort, and yet, you have still managed to display the strength and resilience required to push through. These boys in front of me are the embodiment of the bushy boy spirit and culture, serving as perfect examples of our school motto, Recte et Fortita, Upright and Strong. I would like to thank all the staff and teachers who have guided us on our journey, who have helped us to mature into the young men we are, namely the executive team, with a special mention to Ms. Palio, Mr. Burke, and Mr. Johnston. More importantly, I would like to thank the parents for everything you've done for your sons, nurturing them to where they are today. And of course, I would like to thank my parents, my family, and my three brothers, and everyone else who has helped me along the way. Most of all, I would like to thank the boys themselves for the past six years, for the memories, the laughter, the fun, the good times, as well as the bad. Thank you for being there for one another when we needed it most. Thank you for having each other's back, no matter what happened. And thank you for making Homebush Boys what it was. Let me finish by saying to never forget where you came from. Be proud of the fact that you came from Homebush Boys. When you think of high school, remember the great memories and feel some joy. And remember that once a bushy boy, always a bushy boy. Thank you. I would like to now pass over to Lachlan Duong. All right, <clears throat> it's my turn. Finally, my closing statement. Without repeating what these other boys have said, I'd like to fulfill my role as senior prefect and continue the trend of the past 15 speeches over the last few days, praising you like every other year 12 year. This year, has been a challenging year for us all. This year has defined itself as the pinnacle of our stresses and turmoils as we prepare to meet the final hurdle of our high school year. At the conclusion of this year, I admit, I met with this concoction of emotions where I am still 
filled with that adrenaline, anxiety, and affirmation as I near the higher school certificate exams. I am joyous for the bonds of brotherhood I've built, yet still despondent and regretful to the missed opportunities I, and blind leaps of faith I could have taken. Yet, I stand here as a reminder that what sets, up, what sets us apart is what I'd like to call 2020 series of unfortunate events. For many of us, this milestone in our lives would mold into a mere mound during life's journey through mountains and valleys. For those others, I'm pleased to have been here as you disprove the idea of impossible odds making your final stand of 2020. I'm both relieved and downhearted to say we have finished our time here. We have made it. I'm surprised some of us did make it. Um, someone wrote in my speech, look for Chi in the audience. Clearly, I'm surprised some of us even woke up for this. But I'd like us all to remember that every achievement Every award, everything that you have accomplished would not have been possible without the generous aid of the faculty and staff here at Homebush Boys High School. And to that, I give my thanks. To conclude, this year has shown me that no matter what is thrown at us, we stay upright and strong and remain who we are. Cooper Vardy is still kind. Min Mai could still light up a room with laughter. And Delan is still going to be asking me about when we're going to eat fried chicken at Strathfield. <laughs> My answer, Delan, is whenever you want. Because we have made it. We have finished, and we, the graduating class of 2020, have completed high school. Thank you. Year 12. When you leave these gates, do so knowing that you can forever return. You will always be accepted at Homebush Boys. This family is timeless. Once a bushy boy, always a bushy boy. We now would like to give a special thank you, if, if Tom could go down and Lockie could do, go down. Um, we would like to thank Miss um, Palliathodorus first. Thank you for everything. Um, okay, um, next, we would like to thank um, Mr. Burke. Oh, this is Next, we would like to um, yeah, no. um, next we would like to thank Mr. Johnston. And finally, if I could get a representative from the office staff, because they've they've done so much for us this time, you know. Um, Signing us in, take. Um, and Mr. Elgood, we would like to thank you for everything you've done and you know this year it's been a really hard year <laughs> finally we would like to thank miss pappas because <laughs> we when planning all this she's she's been our guidance and yeah we'd like to have a big thank you Thank you, boys.
Thank you, Zane Osman, Tom Nisa, and Lachlan Duong. That concludes our 2020 Year 12 Graduation Assembly. On behalf of the 2021 student body, I would like to take the opportunity to wish all the Year 12 boys the very best for the upcoming HSC exams. Good luck, gentlemen. Remember, as you leave the gates this afternoon, you leave as graduating students of Homebush Boys High School, but you will forever be a bushy boy. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your gradua graduation assembly this morning. I'd like to leave you with a quote. Take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you'll go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Farewell, gentlemen, and good luck. After the exit of the official party, Mrs. Paliothodorus will address the assembly with some information regarding the next part of the day. Can I ask that all, you, all of you to be spent upstanding for the exit of the official party?